Hi everyone, this is Tuplex. Welcome back. Um, today's episode might be a little bit noisy. There's a bit of a thunderstorm coming through my area right now. It's raining pretty hard, uh, but hopefully it won't get picked up too much by the microphones. Um, let's see. Yeah, feedback from last episode was that the next thing that we should do is build a mall or start to work on the research data kind of stuff. And um, I think I think building a mall would be a good way to go right now. Um, the other thing I'd like to do is maybe start making some bots, but let's see what we can do here. Um, first thing though is you'll notice that we've got some issues here where I've got I've got blue science packs everywhere and I'm running short on red. And that seems to be because of green circuits. Which is kind of surprising. That should be making one per second. Which is what we need up here. Well, no, these are, these are all running. They're not getting short. Well, maybe that one is. No, I think that's good. You know what I could do is turn this one off. No, I, yeah, yeah, I could turn that one off. Cause this one's got its own dedicated machine there. How are we doing here? That's doing fine. That's enough to feed both of these. Oh, you know what? I need that for the gears. My bad. Okay. Yeah, I'm surprised. Uh, I'm surprised we ran out of reds. I wonder if there's. I wonder if there's some research that is not symmetrical. I don't think so. I think it's all equal numbers of science packs. Hmm. Okay. Well, whatever the cause was, I think it's okay now. So, uh, one thing I've done since the last episode is I built out the rail grids around here, another one up above, uh, this one over here as well around the oil. Um, so we're starting to build out the rail network. To support that, looks like I missed a little bit right there. Um, to support that, I did get started a bit with the mall already, so we'll we'll review that in a second. Um, but what I want to do first is uh, what I like to do is on the last row of labs, I like to leave a space in between them. All right, and that's gonna be it. Um, so that we can eventually kind of move all the science packs down this way. All right, so I'll do something like this so that these labs are all feeding into at least one of these on the bottom and then these labs feed down the line. Um, Cause what can happen sometimes is you can get, for example, we might have some labs down here that have blue science, but no red. And then we might have labs down here that have red and no blue. So you could end up in situations where you have all the science packs you need, but they're just not all in the same place. So with this sort of thing, uh, the science packs will eventually work their way all the way down and to the right. So if you're missing any particular science pack, it'll it'll work its way through and you should avoid that type of a situation that I just described. Hopefully I did, hopefully I described it well. Like let's see, for example. 
See, and then those red packs work their way down here. As well as any other pack that they might need. Actually, I can just shift C. Okay. Um, and then I have two more labs, which I guess I could put right there. No, because then they won't reach down there. Okay, we can put them like that. Okay, so I've just been doing doing research, unlocking technology uh, that I don't have yet. Um, I did get I did get the tanks researched, or what they call heavy armored vehicle, I believe. Um, and I made one of those. So let, let's go take a look at that. Yeah, these are all running. I don't. If I don't see green circuits on this belt, that's not necessarily a problem. Okay. Yeah, so over here I made one of these tanks, and the reason I made the tank is because the car has a relatively small grid. And I wanted to put the vehicle RoboPort in the car, uh, which is this one, so that I could use the car to run the bots. Um, the nice thing about that is that with this generator that you have for the vehicles, uh, that thing can power the RoboPort quite easily. And with my 20 bots, I never run out of power. Whereas with my with my personal tiny fusion reactor that I have right now, um, the bots can't run nonstop without running out of power. So, <clears throat> and for building these rails, you just need, you need a lot of nonstop <laughs> bot activity. All right, so I got the heavy armored vehicle, which has a much, a much larger equipment grid. So this way I can put in the RoboPort as well as my shields and lasers, which I don't really need right now because biters are not turned on at the moment, but we can get a lot more stuff in here. This RoboPort can run 50 bots. So um, at some point soon, I'd like to make another 50 construction bots so that way I can keep my original 20 with me and have 50 in the vehicle and then use the vehicle. Um, this one is, is a bit slow though. Um, now the other thing they have is this additional electric motor, but that only works with the car. That'll give you a speed boost. Um, yeah, unfortunately it, you can't use it except in the car. So, I mean, I could continue to use the car, um, since I don't need anything besides the RoboPort right now. And maybe I will because, yeah, because <laughs> the tank has the capacity to do a lot more damage than the car does. And with the way that I drive, that could be dangerous. Yeah, so I think I will. I think I will go back to the car, at least temporarily. So I'll take the batteries and the generator and the RoboPort and the solid fuel. I'll leave those in there, and we'll put those back in the car for now. Okay, and then fuel for the vehicle. And then we'll throw in all that stuff. Okay, and then we just have to empty the truck, or the trunk, I should say. So I'm just putting a lot of signals in there and putting large power poles, um, repair packs. That's pretty much all I need for building rail. I'll keep, I'll keep the bots with me for now. Let's repair that. There we go. Um, and then I can use I can use this trunk for storage as well. I suppose we could put turrets in there. Anything else that we might want to keep, but we don't necessarily want to hang on to. Put train stops in there. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, and I don't want the I don't want the extra motor for this. It's uh, it's just going to make me have some accidents. Okay, so the small this is like rail rail stuff here in this mini mall, you could say. So I'm making uh, iron sticks here because uh, the power poles and the rails need iron sticks. Uh, the signals only need circuits and iron plate. And then here I have stone and the re what is it the iron beams. Okay, so that way I can make rails. I can make both types of signals. Um, I can make medium power poles. I don't really need those for rail, but I have all the ingredients here. So I figured I might as well make those too. Um, yeah, in fact, let's grab another stack of those for myself. And then I make the large power poles, which take the same ingredients. And then train stations. Those also take iron sticks. Okay, so this is pretty much exclusively for for rail stuff. I, I'm not planning to build like a big all-in-one mall in this playthrough. I'm just going to build some of the basic stuff and also later on I'll build some of the structures that take a very long time to make. Like I'll probably want to do assembly machines in the mall just because they take so long to craft and I'm going to be using a lot of them. Um, but some of these other things, you know, I'm only going to need them once in a while, so I don't mind handcrafting. Um, somebody told me that the nuclear reactor takes 1,500 seconds to build. Yeah, 1.5K. Yeah, that's like uh, 25 minutes or something like that. So that's something that I'll probably just want to have crafting constantly. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, let's choose some more research. We can do, oh, we can do solar. Looks like that unlocks portable solar panels, which might be useful. So we'll add that to the queue. Let's do, oh, we're doing advanced fluid handling. Let's do advanced electronics. Uh, uranium processing, I'm gonna wait. Explosive rocketry, okay. Um, okay, I can't do those yet. That Those require purple science packs. All right, so let's do those, and then we'll do some of these minor upgrades and just keep all that moving. Okay, so let's, um, oh, and then I also made, I made a small, I made a train for myself. So I think we can put it, is that the right way? There we go. So I think we'll put it right here. And this will be the, the tuplex train. So we'll, what do we want to name this? Uh, we'll call this main PAX. I guess this was, could be considered the main part of the base here. So this way we'll be able to start moving around via train instead of car. Um, okay. Trains have equipment grids too. So I will be able, ooh, even the cargo wagons do. Yeah, so I should be able to eventually make a pretty nice um, construction train, which will be cool. And we need to put some fuel in there. Let's see what I got. All right. I have some, oh. There we go, got some coal, that's better. Okay, and let's change the color on this. Uh, let's see, according to Factorio Cheat Sheet, passenger trains are bright pink. 255, 
zero two fifty five. Okay, so I'm going by the train colors that are in the Factorio cheat sheet. Although we'll probably end up with, yeah, because I'm going to be using LTN. So we're eventually going to have trains that uh, we'll just leave default colors since they could be used for anything. Okay, so let's um, let's work on some more some more of the mall if we want to call it that. Let's get these vehicles out of the way. Park them down here for now. Um, something else that I did is I paved this entire um, starting area with stone. And paving this area consumed an entire big generic chest full of stone brick. So I don't think I'm going to be doing this for everything. It's just going to, it's going to consume a ton of stone. Um, and actually, uh, before we start the mall, there's one other thing that I want to do. Um, somebody told me that the filtration recipe to get what was it to get quartz um, is a lot better than the one that I'm doing now. So I want to check that out and maybe upgrade that process. All right, so there's quartz. Right, this is the one where you take water and sand, you use the filtration plant, and that gives you quartz and dirty water. And the dirty water we know we can use to make other ores. Whereas the one I'm doing now, let's see, I get three quarts for four sand. This will give me 18 quarts for 20 sand. So that's, uh, that's a more efficient process. But it doesn't give me stone. Although I will get some stone by processing the dirty water. So yeah, so I think, that, I think that'll be a good way to go. Uh, we'll just have to look at the relative speed of that process versus what I'm doing now over here. I do like having everything paved like this. It makes the base look nice. Oh, there's more stone here. Let's grab that. There we go. There's 153 bits of stone in there. I don't want to <clears throat> I don't want to miss out on any of it. Yeah, I'm actually using all the stone. Well, cuz I I'm trying to refill the stone brick, but we'll need to bring in some stone eventually. You know what I should have done? I should have gotten max rate calculator. That's a good mod. I'm going to add that one. Okay. Uh, so for filtration plants, I need electric engines. I already have a bunch of regular engines, so I'll need to go make some electric engines. And for those, I am going to need green circuits of which I already have a lot. I need some glass. Steel plate. Um, let's get a little bit more steel plate and I'm going to need to start making steel again soon. Okay. And I'll need plastic, which I can get over where the lubricant is, which I'm going to need for the engines. Okay. And what is the speed of that process? Three seconds for 18 quarts versus, okay, so three for 18, that's, um, ugh. that's what, uh, six per second. Crafting speed of one. Yeah, and these are a little bit slower than that. And this is giving me 
three every two seconds, one and a half per second. So one and a half per second times 12 is 18 per second times three quarters. I'm getting about uh, four and a half per second from this build. Yeah, so I can match that with one filtration plant. <laughs> yeah, that does seem like a better process. All right, so let's go. I'll make I'll make two filtration plants. So we build in some additional capacity. All right, let's not hit anything, please. I need to clear the trees in this area at some point. Okay, and I'm just coming over here just so I have access to the lubricant so I can make electric engines. All right, so we'll do that here. Let's make one more. All right, uh, those are here. And of course, gotta flip them. Oh, I didn't bring enough pipe. Okay, and we'll have to be careful here. There. Okay, so let's put in some engines and green circuits. All right. And let's grab some plastic bars. I'll need a hundred of those. Yeah, and I'm going to need 40 electric engines for two filtration plants. Okay, and while we're waiting for those, I think the other thing I can do... Mm, that's going to be in the way. Well, that's all right. Let's... Um, I think we should start running a pipe of lubricant over to the main part of the base. Okay, that's 32. One more round and we're good. take a couple of minutes. Let's go grab some more pipe. Uh, where am I making pipes? Or have I stopped making pipes? Yeah, I think I have stopped making pipes. That's why I don't have any. Okay, well, that's something else we should make in our mini mall over here. And then we'll make some undergrounds. there. I 
Actually, you know what? I'm not going to make underground pipes. I'll just make straight pipes. Nah, let's do it. Because eventually I'll have bots and it'll be better to do with bots. Alright, so I'll limit this to... 500. And we'll limit that to 200. Now let's just do four stacks of each for symmetry. filtration units so let's go set that up oh let's get more pipes all right and here's what I want you to do I want you to turn on when this chest is full all right so when pipe is greater than or equal to 400 and we'll start putting them over here. That way I'll always get my straight pipes first. Because I usually need those. Well, if you have straight pipes, you can make underground pipes. But the underground pipes take a long time to make, and the whole time they're producing, you're not going to get any straight pipes. So that's why I prefer to do it this way. have I got okay good enough let's go okay so I have quartz and stone going in here so I suppose we could keep all this the same here okay so let's pick that up and I'll put the red splitter here red belt okay so now we only have two of those to worry about we'll put all the sand in there the power situation over here. All right, and that's where the that's where the quartz is going to go. Um yeah. So let's let's pick all this up. filtration plants um, actually I'm going to pick this up too because I think I might want that belt over on the left side where it was before 
Oops. Okay. So that'll be the output there in the center. Yeah, so let's should we do it like that. Yeah. All right, so we'll do it like this. And this is going to be for that. So we bring in the water there and then the dirty water on the outside. single side of the belt will be fine. Okay, yeah, that's okay like that. All right, where's our water? I know we got water over here somewhere. Here it is. That's, uh, what is this water for? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. All right, so this is not needed. This is just coming back from where it came in the first place. Okay, so let's um, let's come out here. Okay, look at that. Tons. There, now we got both sides of the belt. There, that's a little cleaner. Okay, and then we need to take out the wastewater and get it over to this tank.
Okay, so somewhere around there. If we need another filtration plant to handle the wastewater, we can add one. I mean, I suppose I suppose we should do that. Um, yeah, because these can't handle all of it. So let me go make, I need to make a few more engines. see how our research is coming along. What else can we unlock? Portable solar panels. We'll add that to the queue. We'll do, okay, I already got braking force. Inserter capacity. All right, and then we'll do uranium processing. That's gonna take forever. Might as well start it soon. Forty, right? Oh, twenty. I only need six. Okay. So I think the mall should definitely include making some engines, regular engines, and yep, yeah, and electric engines. See, it wouldn't put a pipe there because then it would it would try to mix with this one. circuits okay and then as soon as they start we take the other ingredients out oh, crap at least we try to so we don't get extras and it's too late stop okay and I need 50 plastic again which is half of one of these. Whoa, no, didn't want to do that. Okay, there's 50. <laughs> okay. And now that I have pipe, do I have a pump? Yep. Let's run that. Uh, let's run that pipeline of lubricant to the main base. over here as well as acid for when we need it in the main part of the base all right so we just want to expand this thing which shouldn't be too difficult since I've already got everything set up pretty much extend that out a bit 
Okay. Pull in other stuff out. All right, so that gives us more capacity to process wastewater, dirty water, if and when it's needed. All right. Um, yeah, and I'm not currently doing anything with the stone or the sulfur. Um, we need iron plate. You know, the sulfur, I don't know if I want to bother sending it way over there or just make more acid over here. Ooh, these use acid. Okay, so that's good to know. We can, let's make a couple of chemical plants. I'm gonna, and we just happen to have iron plate available. So what we can do is we can use the sulfur we get to make more acid to feed into these machines as a priority. Okay, so I'm going to need a tank, which I already have. Wonderful. So how do I want to do this? All right, I want to pump it into a tank. Well, where do we make it? I'd like to make it down there where the sulfur is, which means I need to get iron plate all the way down there. Okay, we're bringing iron plate down already for this. Okay, where are my chemical plants? I guess I really only need one chemical plant. Okay, making acid, and we'll pump that into a tank. And we need water for that. No problem there. Oh, and I've got access to these much larger tanks now, too. And they're really cool looking. Okay. And then we'll use this. We'll filter that for the sulfur. Okay. What am I heavy-duty mining drills got used up. I'll just keep it. And I need to get power over here. use up the sulfur and then we'll pump it up this way Okay, so the question now is how do I how do I make it so that this acid gets used before the other acid? Okay. 
we don't have any valves or anything, unfortunately. Can I check the contents of a pipe? No, I can't. Okay, so the only way would be to put another pump here. And then we'll have to get a signal from this tank all the way over there. Which is kind of inconvenient uh, because I don't have any power cables going all that way. So we'll have to do this just so that we can get the signal over there. Okay. So we'll put that on the red wire. Whoops. Okay, so I can see it there on the on the red wire. Then we can bring that over here and up there. Okay, and then this will be enabled only when sulfuric acid is, I don't know, let's say less than 100. Okay, so we'll only bring the sulfuric acid here from the refinery if this tank is empty. Okay, great. So now I really only have the stone as a byproduct that needs to be dealt with. Everything else, all the other byproducts of this process are being used, which already in my mind um, <laughs> makes this mod a lot more pleasant than, than Angel's mods where you end up with byproducts that you can just never find any use for. So you end up destroying a bunch of it and then 10 minutes later you find a use for it and you don't have it. And it's really frustrating. At least that's, <laughs> at least that's how I play <laughs> Angel's mods. Okay. Well, that's going to do it for today. Sorry to go for so long. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. See you next time. Bye-bye.